è un piacere per me presentare il professore Salvador Morales Seconde, chirurgo di Siviglia, che oggi ha ricevuto il titolo di membro d'onore della Società Italiana di Chirurgia. Il professor Salvador Morales Seconde è un brillante chirurgo addominale, è un chirurgo che è conosciuto in tutto il mondo, tant'è che ha già avuto tante onorificenze da altre società, ha un curriculum di tutto rispetto nonostante la giovane età e ci ha fatto immenso piacere oggi ascoltarlo su quello che può essere considerato un immediato futuro della chirurgia, ovvero sia l'impiego dell'intelligenza artificiale in campo chirurgico. Salvador, your speech about artificial intelligence was very very interesting. Can you summarize your concept? Sure. First, uh, thank you very much. It's a real, real honor and a pleasure to receive this honorary membership from the Italian Society of Italian Surgeons. For me, it's a real honor. So, today, uh, talking about artificial intelligence, I really think it's a real revelation of surgery. We discuss about the impact of robotic surgery, image guide surgery, but I think artificial intelligence will be uh, the future for sure. We have to decide so many things. We have to have a good regulation, we have, because we don't know exactly how this is going to work in the future. But I'm very convinced that artificial intelligence during the surgery in the, for the new generation will guide the surgery to understand the anatomy of the patient, to understand the landmark to follow, the quality of the surgery, and for sure this is going to uh, be the way of operating in the future. The concern that I analyzed today was if artificial intelligence is going to substitute a uh, surgeon. But for sure, we can be relaxed and the new generation can be relaxed, but for sure it's not going to substitute surgeons because surgeons will be necessary. Will be necessary to take the final decision and also one important thing, I think the human heart is necessary for creating a good team to achieve better results and also for the relationship with our patients. Another question, Salva. Do you think that with artificial intelligence we can reach the zero error in surgery? Well, zero error will be... I, I don't think so. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible because every case is different. The anatomy of the patient change. The circumstance change, emergency, elective, reoperation. So zero error is impossible. Complication is going to be always there. And complications are, are because of other things. And there are parameters that still there is a lot of research to be done. Complication can come from the nutrition status of the patient. So many factors that influence difficult to control. It's going to reduce error for sure, but zero error is going to be impossible because still human being is not a perfect machine. And each machine is totally different and we cannot, we can take some experience to put it in another patient, but at the end is another patient, which is a different biology that we, is going to be difficult to understand. I, I agree with you, I entirely agree with you. I would like to thank you again for coming in the room uh, to accept this uh, honorary membership of, of our society. Thank you so much for coming.